Um, Twitch streamers lose control, chat control after channel extension is hijacked by hackers. Okay. So this has been pretty bad. There's been like a epidemic of streamers losing control. Um, we talked about this a few weeks ago with Twitch partners even being like, Hey, can you check out this new Twitch extension? Hey, can you download this game? And it's a hacked account and it will fish your account and, and steal your account. This has to do with a, an extension, the Pando Twitch extension on September 10th, which was yesterday, the Pando Twitch extension was removed from the platform due to an exploit found by hackers. They took control of the chat of some streamers to post profanity and spam links. Streamers discussed the issues and quickly identified Pando as a common link between them. It apparently also involved the Stream Alerts TV extension. Stream Alerts TV. I've never even heard of these extensions. In addition, the extension might have compromised the streamer's accounts. The issue forced some streamers to cut their live streams short. It happened to all sorts of streamers regardless of their audience. Streamer Luna Bori saw her chat spammed. And thank you for the 100 months. Do we know if other extensions are safe? So it seems like this was like a specific company that had an exploit, Pando and the Stream Alerts extension. Um, now, what I recommend is going through, go to your dashboard. There's, so there's two places where you are vulnerable for exploitation with your account. So the first one is going to be in the extensions tab going to my extensions and reviewing what you have here. Now there may be things that you have installed that have permissions, right? Once you install something, it has permissions that may end up being exploited. So review these extensions and uninstall ones that you are not using. Even if you think, well, 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 one day I might use it. You can reinstall it. It's okay. It's going to be okay, but uninstall it and remove access of anything that you are not using. Okay, so this is the first place. The second location is... I have to make sure I'm not showing anything vulnerable here. Okay. The second area is in your account settings. Okay. So click on your little name or icon, go to settings and go to the connections tab. Here you're going to see things that you are connected to. Um, also other extension connections based on things you've logged into, like sites that you've logged into like PUBG contraband. I probably don't need to still be connected to this by staying connected. I don't even know what the Pokemon badge collector extension is. I don't even know what this is. This is not good. This is not a good look for me. Okay. I need to disconnect from these again, go through your connections page, disconnect from anything. You're like, I don't know what this is. You probably don't use it. Create an Island representing your viewers mood and engagement. I don't know what that is. I've never used that. So, Disconnect, disconnect all this because I'm not a security, cybersecurity expert here, um, but I would guess that the more things that you leave connected and have given, you've given permissions to these. You've given, sometimes it's just your name and email. Sometimes it's uh, your name, your email, your subscriber list, uh, your um, mod permissions, there's permissions to t change your title, permissions to access your, your statistics, your sub count, your all the stuff like you can give away a ton of stuff. Go through and, and disconnect this as well. This is just a really good and this is again, not just a Twitch specific exercise. I would go through your Twitter account. Look at your API connections, because especially with Twitter, again, those resources a lot of them are not kept up anymore. Reddit as well. They're not kept up because they started to charge for API access and a lot of developers abandoned their projects. So go through your Twitter, go through your Reddit. Anytime you've given permission to something, even discord, every time you grant permission to another account that you have, you are, there is a vulnerability. 
So these are the two places. Make sure you do this exercise, especially right now, considering there is a issue with Pando and Stream Alert TV. Again, they said it's been disabled. So I don't know if there's an active threat, but it would be good to just go through your stuff and remove anything you don't recognize. Okay. I hope that helps. Disconnect this. Take a please. 